Hello again and welcome to Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. Well, what a season opener for the Wyoming Cowboys down in Las Cruces, New Mexico last Saturday night. Coming up this Saturday, the Cowboys will have their home opener against Washington State. But, wow, let's go back, Kevin. That uh, was quite the way to open a season dominant fashion I thought down in Las Cruces against New Mexico State. I'd like to watch that one again. Mm. That was so much fun. Mm. It was domination both sides of the football. Uh, that's Craig Bull football. Physical, run the ball and uh, stifle you on defense. I think that's about how he wanted it to go. Yeah that's kind of the blueprint. In fact Coach Bull talked about the game immediately following that big win over New Mexico State. But, you know, the elements of, of real good blueprint are there to be physical on the line of scrimmage, to have a back like Nico that can move the pile, take some pressure off the quarterback, uh, you know, not put ourselves in third down a long a whole lot, um, get a defense out there that scores, got a safety. And, um, you know, we gave up a touchdown at the end with some reserve guys, but that's going to be a great lesson for those guys as well. So I think it's a good start, and uh, now we got a big game this next week. Well, as the blueprint goes, of course, you play great defense and run the football. Do not allow them to run the football. Play error-free, and that's usually the formula for victory, and that's exactly what the Cowboys did against New Mexico State. The defense was just stellar, Kevin, throughout the entire game. It was. Uh, it was uh, total domination, and uh, they did it with uh, pretty much vanilla. They, they didn't throw a lot at New Mexico State. They just uh, beat the guy in front of them, and uh, it was... Uh, just a, a great night for what we think will be a great year for that Cowboy defense. Well, I think so. The Cowboys really only had to rush, as Kevin said, only had to rush four all night long. They uh, were everywhere. It was gang tackling to the max. In fact, the Cowboy defense even scored. Carl Granderson recorded a safety. Here's Carl himself talking a little bit about that defensive effort in Las Cruces. Yeah, we was uh, pretty happy. We played together as a uh, defense, you know. Um, got a couple three and outs, you know, that's the whole, the main goal. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to do any blitzes or anything, mm -hmm. so um, we did a good job on that part. So the defense didn't give up that score until, well, less than two minutes left in the game. The Cowboy offense, very efficient. I thought Tyler Vanderwall was just that efficient, the quarterback spot. But, boy, the Cowboys certainly ran the football right at them, huh? And they really did. And with three redshirt freshmen in an offensive line, you wouldn't expect that kind of domination. But they did a really good job. And, and uh, you got to hand it to them. They didn't uh, give up a sack. They uh, rushed for over 300 yards. Of course, Nico was a big part of that. But very pleased with how those offensive line guys did because they kept switching in and out almost all fall camp. They mm -hmm. didn't have a lot of continuity. They sure looked like they had it there. Yeah, just a great job. You mentioned the captain, Nico Evans. He had 190 yards rushing in the game himself. And he talked after the game about that win in Las Cruces. You know, our running back group has worked so hard. And we've gone through so much from people talking about us last year. So we just put that work in the offseason. And so to see us all succeed, that was great to see. So 29-7 the final as Wyoming knocks off New Mexico State down in Las Cruces on the road with the season opener and the win. Now it's back home for the season of the home opener right here in War Memorial Stadium. Can't wait for that oh. Saturday, 1.30 kickoff. Love that part too, Kevin. But uh, this will be, I don't know if it's fair to say a much better opponent, but this will be a much better known opponent, let's say, out of the Pac-12, Washington State. Yeah, and uh, this is a program that has had great success under Mike Leach. He's done some kind of job in a tough place. That's a tough place to win. And he's uh, certainly done that with all kinds of offense. This is, uh, we had to play that first game, that's for sure. But this is the game we've kind of been looking forward to, to see that offense against this defense. Yeah, we'll be back to talk about those Washington State Cougars. That game coming up next for the Wyoming Cowboys here on Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. Back after this. It's Nissan's bottom line model year-end event. Get big clearance savings on the last of our 2018s. Like Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist. Get a low $199 per month lease on Rogue, or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. But hurry, the bottom line and our 2018s are almost gone. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> 
If keeping your work site on time, on budget, and onto the next job is keeping you up at night, you need to wake up to Komatsu. Our machines are designed for production, uptime, and savings. We are more than just iron. We are giving you a technology to make more material and less passes. Start sooner, finish faster, and burn less fuel. We are solving problems before you had them. So stop doing what you've always done. The only thing that's going to keep you up at night is wondering why you didn't do it sooner. Discover the job site of your future. Komatsu. When did we stop thinking up new questions and daring to chase down their answers? The world needs more wonder, more outside thinkers hungry for a challenge. The world needs more cowboys. And it's not what you are that makes you a cowboy or cowgirl, but who you are. It's a shared spirit, the kind that emboldens those who possess it to stand on the perimeter and howl into the unknown with unbendable optimism. The world needs more cowboys. Well, next up, it is Washington State, the Washington State Cougars out of the Pac-12, right here in Cowboy Country, right here in War Memorial Stadium, 1.30 the kickoff on Saturday. And Kevin, here is uh, quite a test uh, as you look at the Washington State offense. Head coach Mike Leach, now in his seventh year at Washington State, brings that air raid offense from uh, Texas Tech, where he made it famous with the Red Raiders. It's called the air raid offense. They throw the heck out of it. Uh, more than most, let's say, in the country. I, well, absolutely. They were second in the country last year in passing, and uh, they're, they're just amazing at how they go about that. I don't think they worry too much about the running game. Uh, the interesting thing is that they averaged throwing to 9.6 different receivers a year ago. you got to watch for everybody all over the field. It's uh, as creative as you'll see. And they've had a lot of success with it. Yeah, you bet. The Cowboys expected to see a lot of the pass against New Mexico State. That's the spread offense. Well, this air raid offense is the spread on steroids is what it is. They will be throwing it a lot. And Cowboy Captain Marcus Epps talked about and compared the two offenses, New Mexico State and Washington State. Uh, yeah, definitely on film. Um, you know, there is definitely a lot of similarities, but, you know, New Mexico State, uh, ran the ball a little more this game than we had seen on film and then you know wazoo they just like to air it out so you know that's what we're expecting from them well when the cowboys have the football they're going to be looking at a pretty salty washington state defense at least last season they uh, were right there among the league or, like, leaders in the country in takeaways like the cowboys cowboys led with 38 washington state's defense had 28 last year ninth in the country and they have some effective players on defense especially at that linebacker position and in the secondary cup. They do. They have uh, two really good players. They're veteran guys, and, and uh, uh, they'll be people you have to identify every time at the line of scrimmage. But, you know, with Mike Leach, everybody talks about air raid. They're always pretty good on defense, mm -hmm. too, and, yeah. and I think that's uh, obviously very underrated uh, about them. That's why they win nine games. They have the air raid, but they have a very solid defense. Well, veteran offensive tackle Zach Wallace remembers the last time these two teams played. It was back in 2015, and Wallace talks a little bit about that game. Well, I know at least Caden and I, just being some of the older guys, having played them three years ago, we've kind of just expecting a little bit more out of us this this year than three years ago and just kind of having a little bit of that payback mentality like we lost last time and we don't want to lose this time. Well, the Cowboys will take that 1-0 record into the home opener on Saturday, 1.30 the kickoff. The Cowboys against the Washington State Cougars. I like that part right there. <laughs> Quality cool. opponent at home should be great. Nothing like a home opener. There isn't. Uh, nothing like being in War Memorial Stadium at 7,200 feet mm. when somebody's about at sea level. And, of course, the uh, Wazoo team uh, playing their first game. So the Cowboys have that on them. And well, what do they always say? You improve for best first to second game. So we'll see. But to be home and the atmosphere that has been created by this Wyoming team over the last couple of years in War Memorial, yeah is really something. It really is. And Cowboy head football coach Craig Bowl says he's excited for the home opener. Uh, it does. You know, there's no place like home. Uh, uh, War Memorial Stadium, uh, since I've been our head coach, I believe has transitioned. You know, it's gone to uh, uh, where you have games here to where now the crowd is actively involved. It's been great to see our student body uh, show up. They energize the stadium. Um, you know, it'll be a wonderful uh I believe it's a 1.30 kickoff. 
Uh, sun will be out. Uh, there's nothing better early in the fall in Laramie. And so uh, I'm in hopes that our fans are excited about it. I know our football players are really excited about it. So um, it has a makings of being an outstanding atmosphere with two really good football teams uh, that are going to uh, go after it on the gridiron. So. Well, it'll be just the seventh time that these two schools have played one another on a football field. Seven times in this series, Washington State against Wyoming. It's only the third time these two schools will play in Laramie. In fact, you got to go all the way back to 1989, the last time the Cougars visited the high country here. So it's great to get a quality opponent out of the Pac-12 in your place, even more so, huh? Oh, absolutely so. And uh, it, the games have been, for the most part, really entertaining games mm -hmm. through this uh, short series. Uh, two programs that have some similarities in where they're located and, and what they have to battle with their leagues. That's uh, impressive that they've accomplished what they've accomplished. Yeah, really, it really is. The Cowboys and the Cougars, Saturday, they'll kick it off at 1.30 right there in War Memorial Stadium. Should be a dandy. Wyoming against Washington State. Well, that'll do it for now. I'll come back next time here on Cowboy Football Weekly, driven by Nissan. For Kevin McKinney, I'm Dave Walsh. So long, everybody.